Hey, what's up? It's Miguel, your soon to be. It's been a while since I made a video something like this. So bear with me with my creative, fantastic video presentation. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this one of a kind film. In this video, I will take you to a tour of my internship experience during my last year of college. So, tourists, are you ready? All right, let's go. It was the 20th of February where my new journey as a student begins. I was then nervous yet excited to see how this internship training away from my hometown was gonna make me when I get home. I suppose I got what I needed to learn and experience. The first day of our orientation, we were welcomed by the hotel general manager, Mr. Ping Regalado, where he made sure that at the end of our stay, we will gain the knowledge, exposure, and personality working under the hotel industry. Let's start with how this experience at Astoria Plaza taught me how the industry really works. Mr. Ping Regalado was right. Aside from teaching us the technical skills, we will also hone our personality skill set. As a tourism student, we were assigned to the front office department, having been assigned to four different areas. The front office, the bell service, reservations, and telephone operations. Whereas having the right knowledge of the operation, I was happy to help and assist guest queries and needs. I am thankful to all the employees that given us their trust for us to actually perform the varied hotel procedures and processes. With this, I get to learn, understand, and actually be familiar with the backbone of the hotel industry. Aside from that, we were lucky enough to have an amazing day training at PTC Aviation where my dream seems like came to life. We were trained the basics of cabin crew in-flight services, flight safety demonstration, and procedures. It was fun memorable and full of substantial ideas of what it's like to be a cabin crew. I was grateful to get to work with new set of colleagues with different attitudes and culture. My time management was spot on and balancing work and bonding with my classmates was indeed the cherry on top of this experience. I could not see this internship worthwhile without them being in it. And with that, I totally enjoyed and brought many learnings and memories with me when we departed Manila. I was always this type of student who wishes to go beyond my limits. Well, I guess I made it possible, or better yet, my very supportive dean, Dr. Maria Annalisa A. Ruba, made it all possible, giving me a go signal to have another internship at Air Asia Philippines. It was a nerve-wracking moment for me since the process of applying was like literally applying for a job. The requirements, the interview, and the talent portion! Well anyways, here I am now, an intern of Aeropro Aviation Corporation, handling flights of AirAsia Flight Z2344 bound for Manila. Calling guest, hey wait! This experience is like a dream come true. I believe I was in high school that I saw a student intern check my boarding pass. And now, years later, I am now doing the passenger service agent duties such as check-in process, baggage tagging, boarding procedures, arrival, and my favorite, announcement. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a call for check-in to departing guests of Air Asia Flight Z2344 bound for Manila. I have now fully understood how it is to be in a fast-paced workplace that does actual operations. Time management is of the essence, but still making sure the safety and security of passengers. It gave me a glimpse of the difference between a student's workload and of that an employee, which they operate the given responsibility with most precision and accuracy to avoid breach, fraud, and insecurity of passengers and of the business. 
Being able to learn and experience first-hand duties made me undoubtedly see myself in this industry. I like how to see flock of passengers inside the airport going along with their lives but still being a part of making them in safe hands and keeping a smile to their journey. Additionally, my internship training doesn't stop there. Our batch was fortunate enough to become familiar and become a certified Saber operator, a type of global distribution system that can be used to airline reservations and many more. This training was worth it for its hands-on training and well-organized laboratory, as well as learning from the fun and the best trainer, Mr. J.R. Formelieza, who shares his expertise in the field. I believe that learning is a lifelong process. That's why acquiring knowledge should never stop. But aside from being the best in the field, at the end of the day, your character defines who you are as an employee, especially being in a customer service oriented industry. With the trainings I acquired from the two industries, the hotel and the airlines, I feel like I am now ready to step beyond what is next for me after I graduate. I am very thankful to become exposed and practice the best of both worlds of the tourism industry. I develop skills and experiences that I will totally bring with me in my professional career. Thank you Sir Ron and Mam Ma Pat of Astoria Plaza, Mam Ma Jazz of Air Asia, Mam Ma Tin and Mam Ma Jeanette of Aeropro, and of course Dean Ruba, Mam Ma Jazz, Sir Rojo, Sir Nell, the CHTM department, my classmates, batchmates, and everyone. Thank you so much and hoping to be the next CHTM Pride of Batch 2023. See you soon.